Hi DIYers, Joey from Alarm Grid, and today we're going to show you how to power down your Vista security system. Now, there's a few instances where you may need to hard reset your security system. The most common one is if you're having trouble getting it to connect to an Ethernet network, resetting the security system can reset that DHCP table and can get it to uh, start communicating again. There's other instances where you may need to power down if the system isn't acting correctly, if there's an error that's errant and doesn't make any sense, uh, maybe some hardware isn't working properly after you install it. Resetting the system itself can sometimes get that stuff to work, and it's usually the first step you take when troubleshooting the system in most instances. It's just a good all-around thing to do sometimes on your system when you want to fix something. Now, the Vista security system is powered with a Honeywell 1361 transformer. It provides 16.5V AC to the panel, and it connects on terminals one and two on the board. That's these terminals right here. Now that has to plug in to a 120 volt power supply, uh, which you'll find around your house. Any, any normal one will work and it connects via a wire to the system. We recommend if possible using an LT cable to connect the transformer to the system itself as it makes the installation really easy as the, as the cable is already terminated. And as you can see, you get this convenient barrel connector on the system. With a Vista system, there's no switch or onboard button or anything to actually power the system down. You have to cut power to the system completely to hard reset it or power it down 100%. The system gets its power from the AC input, which is the transformer we just described, and it also has a backup battery. We have a external power supply on our Vista system here, which has its own backup power supply. But as you can see, the system itself is connected to this 1240 amp uh, backup battery, which will also power the system. So to completely kill power to the panel, you actually have to cut the main AC power and you have to unplug the backup battery. The backup battery kicks in when the AC power dies. If the, if the power in the home kicks off, it will go to the backup battery. So you will need to unplug that also to power the system off. Now, <clears throat> the easiest way to power down the system would be to unplug its transformer from the wall and then also unplug the backup battery. Our Vista system, we have the transformer behind this particular wall, but it's just plugged into a regular power strip. And if I were to go back there and pick it up and unplug it, that will cut AC power to the system. Now, you're not going to see any of that but I, I did do it. To power the Vista system off 100%, all you're gonna have to do, as we said, is unplug the LT cable barrel connector, that's this guy right here, and then we have to unplug the backup battery. Now, you only need to unplug the hot leg of the backup battery, that will turn it off, and as you can see, our Vista system is 100% powered down. If you want to, feel free to also unplug the, the neutral leg, of the backup battery, but you really only need to unplug the hot leg. With these two items disconnected, the system is 100% powered down, and now we can do whatever we have to do. I do want to point out on the, uh, the Lyric transformers, if you do have a new one, you're going to notice that the transformer itself is going to have this annoying screw that's right here. What this is used for is when you install it on an outlet that has a set screw in the middle for putting the plate on the outlet, you can remove that screw and you can screw this in when you plug this into the outlet and that'll make sure that nobody can bump it or just pull it off randomly. If you don't want this screw, um, reason being is that if your outlet doesn't have that screw or you're not putting this in the right spot, this is gonna get in your way and it may even prevent you from plugging it in 100%. As you can see, the back of the screw, it just has this little uh, plastic washer that slips in and kind of screws onto the screw threads. If you slip this up with your fingers and just unscrew it, you can pull it right out and you can also remove the screw. If that doesn't work for you, if you have a pair of linemen or pliers and you just grab this little plastic piece from the screw and rip it up, it'll pull right up and you'll be able to remove it. Just a, a good thing to keep in mind when you are installing uh, the power supply for the system. And as you can see, now we're getting uh, a notification that we have unplugged something on the system. 
and it is working as expected. That's how to reset power on a Vista security system. If you do have any questions about this, feel free to head over to the website, give us a call, send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, feel free to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button below. And if you want to be notified about future videos, hit the notification button and we'll update you when we do so. Have a great day and thanks for watching.